Previously, on Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. What if her being scared was a lie? Huh? She played you like a fiddle, what the buddy. What that supposed to be? Yeah. Mean? Why would she lie about something like that? I know you don't want to consider you? it, but look at this and tell me. Can you still deny the possibility? You've been played, bud. Actually, no. I don't think the fight started with the sword. Why not? Because the sword sheath had been scratched. See? Alrighty. There's a gash in it. Like someone cut into it with something sharp. Something like sharp. a knife? You yeah. mean, like the kitchen knife? That was the only sharp thing found at the scene. Then the one who attacked first was... Sayaka? Now do you understand? She wasn't a blameless victim in this. No, far from it. It's almost as if she'd been planning to commit a murder of her own. There they she go. The knife from the kitchen, then invited the culprit to the room she was staying in. And if it's true that she had the kitchen knife and attacked without provocation... It's all coming together. Yep. Indeed. These are all the actions of an assailant. Hey! Hey! You guys have totally derailed the argument! You're being super boring right now! Come on, hurry up and decide who did it! Is it... really all over? Obviously I'm committed to finding out who killed her, but... What can I do? I mean, as far as clues go, there's nothing left. You still got lots left. What are you talking about? I was going to say, like, I beg to differ, my guy. Alrighty. Dying message. Dying message. Okay. Sometimes those are hard it's to read. It's easy just to say, hey, yeah. decide who did it. That font just came. Clues, right? Very well. Then let's review all the clues we've found up to this point one more time. Do we really have time for all that? D die! Die! If we don't do something, we're all gonna die! Yeah, I don't blame her for freaking out. Um, there's still one clue left, I'm sure of it. Sayaka left it on the wall she, um, she leaned up against. It's easy just to say, hey, decide who did it. But there just aren't any more clues, right? That one? No, yeah, that one. Awesome. I say it as I, like, hit it. I'm like, well, I'll find out in, like, two seconds. <laughs> there still might be one clue left. Sayaka's dying message. There it is. Dining? Wait, wh what did you say? The Sir. Dying message. The infamous number. She wrote something on the wall behind her, remember? One, one, zero, three, seven. Written in her own blood. There must be a clue about the killer hidden in there. Well, before we get too far into that, I need to ask, can we really be she sure made it easy that for Sayaka us. is the one who wrote it? Well, it is the first case. Yeah. But, like, I've heard it was, like, a lot harder in, like, the Japanese version because, like, they were kind of banking on a lot of players not being super familiar with English. Oh, okay. There's um, a time limit here, just by the way. There's no question that Sayaka wrote that message, and I can prove it. Um, right wrist, left index finger, fatal wound. Uh, that would be the finger. I got it. Would be. Got it. Her left index finger had blood on it. Yeah, the that English would only be because she used that finger to write the message. This thing like makes sense. I see. She broke her right wrist during the fight, so she because like apparently they didn't really change write. this at all from the original. Sure. I see. I think we can all agree Sayaka wrote it. That's like one of the few things I remember from the retrospective that what I the watched. What do those numbers mean? <laughs> One, one, zero, three, Because, like, honestly, it's just hey, kind of interesting to think about that, you know? Computer nerd or whatever, yeah. right? 
You should know all about numbers and shit. N no, that's not... Yes, I'm a programmer, but I don't see any kind of meaning in these numbers. Of course. I mean, any... Like, it's even if you know about numbers, numbers, that could literally be anything. Oh! Yeah, it looks like... Huh? What? What? Yeah, no, they're not numbers. It's just... I'll look at the numbers, assuming they're not numbers. Yeah, huh? Don't these first two, one, one, look less like two numbers and more like one letter? Yeah, yeah, because right. they're connected in a the very specific, very, very subtle way. There, so I assumed it was one one. But That's actually not that subtle. It now, you could it's also not. You can see the line. And we're blind. Whoa, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you might have finally just said something worth a shit. Wow, rude. <laughs> Our little gray cells are really getting excited now. But even if that really is an N, N037, doesn't make any more sense than before. Oh, but it does. It does if you flip it. It sure does. Damn it, it's no use. I just don't know. Makoto, come on, you can do better than that. You study English in Japanese school. You guys are fine. <laughs> Rotate it. I, I think maybe, maybe I see something. Oh my god. Now I see. She wrote down the killer's name. Huh? You just shot past the clue card and right on to who did it. So, who I mean, that's kind of how this works. Writes. Okay. Saika's dying message reveals the real killer's name. If you turn her message 180 degrees... One one zero three seven. It should become crystal clear. Now we gotta finger the culprit. Let's break and go. I know exactly, exactly who we're going for. Exactly who that is. Where the hell is he? Did I go the wrong? I straight up went the oh, wrong way. You're you're right on him. <laughs> we got it. Here's my I could have literally went left. Could've. The key to solving it's fine. this mystery was simply to rotate the writing 180 degrees. If you turn the message around, it becomes Let's the go. letters L E O N, L E O N, or more accurately, Leon. What? What the hell are you talking about? It, it's just a coincidence. I doubt that. It's just a bunch of yeah. random squiggles that happen to look like my name. He no, totally did it. No, no, sir, you can't. It's not random at all. <laughs> really? She wrote it in blood. She Come on. wrote that message on the wall behind her as she was leaning up against it. Yeah, you don't write something in randomly position, in your own blood. To write normally, and had to write upside down, as it were. Well, Ace Attorney is faking dying and messages result, all the time, so. But those aren't That's those are intentionally in planted fake messages, but drift. still not random. Yeah. Try it that is true. If you want. Write something sitting like her, and the letters will be inverted. I should tackle Ace Attorney at some point. D that you totally like could. One hell of a stretch to me. I'm the killer. You can't just go and say shit like that. If you're not the killer, then why did you try to destroy the evidence? Huh? You know what I'm talking about, right, Makoto? Yes, I the do. Evidence Leon tried to get rid of. Mm-hmm. The evidence that Leon tried to get rid of. It's that thing I found on the ground in front. Um. In front of the incinerator, right? Oh. That's not what I was thinking of specifically. I was thinking about the lint roller, but. Pick the evidence. That thing. I got it. Good to me. You mean the burnt shirt piece I found laying on the ground by the incinerator, right? As the killer stabbed Sayaka, they must have gotten some of her blood on them. And to dispose of the shirt covered in the victim's blood, they threw it into the incinerator. 
Didn't go over that well, though. But one piece burned off and got left behind. And the killer didn't notice. If they had, they most certainly would have panicked. Isn't that right, Leon? What? 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 Uh, but is one scrap of fabric enough to conclude that Leon is guilty? Yeah, I mean, Leon's not the only one wearing a white button-up. That, that's right! There are plenty of other people here with shirts like mine. With just that one little charred piece, there's no way you can say for sure who it belongs to. I mean... You're right. That alone isn't enough. But there are some other points that may reveal the truth. Are you finally starting to understand? The answers to all the riddles are right here. Yeah, because we still haven't even tackled... So. I, mm, I gotta stop revealing everything before it happens. <laughs> You're on the right track, though. Yeah, I... Mm, okay. The burnt remains of the button-up shirt, which the killer wasn't able to get rid of, there's something about it we need to pay attention to in order to figure out who's responsible. How it was disposed of... Where it was disposed of, when it was disposed of. Um. I'm gonna say how. I got it! Correct. Huzzah! If we look closely at how the shirt was disposed of, we should be able to figure out who the killer is. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good point. I, I think I know what you're gonna say. Do ya? You can't reach the incinerator without opening the gate in front of the trash room, right? I mean, fair. And obviously, you wouldn't be able to hit the switch to turn it on, either. You need the key to get in, and the one with the key was the person on cleaning duty. Are you sure about that? So the killer had to be whoever was in charge of taking care of the trash, right? You've been correct up until that point. Interesting. Now he's just trying to pin the blame on someone else. <laughs> yeah. No, that's wrong. There was another way to use the incinerator without being the one on cleaning duty. Normally he'd be correct, but... And that's exactly what proves uh, that Leon is the real killer. Something only Leon could do. Indeed. Shattered, Shattered crystal ball. Crystal Here ball. we go. Is that what you fought before? <laughs> yes. Whoever was on cleaning duty must have had it, right? So the only one who could get to the incinerator was the person in charge of the trash? And you'd have to get close to the incinerator in order to destroy the evidence. Ooh, there's a couple Which that it could the be. the only possible suspect is whoever had the trash room key. Okay, so the person who would have had the trash room key was... Huh? Me? No! <laughs> that scream. That scream. <laughs> that scream is the greatest. Okay. There absolutely was a way to use the incinerator without using the trash room key. The killer was able to turn the incinerator on by using something I found on the ground nearby. The right, so the there's two... Room. There's two that I think could be it. Duty must have had it, right? So the only one who could get to the incinerator was the person in charge of the trash? And is it this you'd one? Have to get close to the or is it this one? I'm gonna try this one. No, that's wrong. Good. That one. Good job. Because <laughs> like I was like, it's either the one before or the, or that Hold one. On. So I'm like, I think I know how someone fifty fifty shot in my mind without using the trash room key. But if you can't get Go for past it, buddy. the gate, you couldn't possibly turn on the incinerator, could you? Uh huh. That's fine. Yes, Don't worry you could. About it. If you used this. What is I it? Mean, Some kind of mine. glass ball? It's busted to hell. Actually, it was supposed to be a crystal ball, but, uh... But how would you use it? Alrighty. 
The killer had to use the glass ball in a certain way, which was... Divide um, with it, throw it, or roll it. Well, considering who we're talking about... I got it. No, telling the future with it could totally the work. simply took <laughs> aim at the incinerator switch and threw the ball through a gap in the gate. All they had to do was hit that switch, and the incinerator would come to life. Someone threw that... through a gap in the gate? Remember what you said before, Hifumi? Any lines there that it's on auto fruit. Oh crap. But... My bad. But you're good. Um has someone turned the incinerator on. Um, very strange. I'm quite certain it was off last time I was down here. Oh, okay. I didn't miss the line. It's fine. Um, perhaps it was the work of a fairy. Fumi had the key, so the only way the incinerator could have been turned on without his knowledge was because the killer was able to hit the switch without opening the gate. Once they'd gotten the incinerator going, all they had to do was ball up the shirt and toss it in. Yep. Hey, come on! What the hell is this? All you have to do is look at the scene to know that the killer never actually went inside the trash room. The shards of broken glass, the incinerator left running, the piece of shirt that escaped the fire. If the killer had been on cleaning duty, the evidence would have been taken care of much more thoroughly. True. Wait, wait, no, just hold on. But the distance from the gate to the incinerator has to be at least 30 feet, right? That's, that's actually a long toss, damn. You'd need to throw a glass ball that far and hit something that small. Could someone really do that? that that's right! There's no way! It'd be impossible! Difficult, absolutely. Impossible? I don't think so. Because the killer is... Alrighty. I would it wouldn't have been much of a challenge at all for the killer because Ultimate Clairvoyant, Ultimate Fanfic Creator, Ultimate Baseball Star. Let's fucking go. Because the killer is the ultimate baseball star. Isn't that right, Leon? Do you have any ass. idea how stupid you sound right now? A target 30 feet away would surely be little challenge for the ultimate baseball star. You... you, you can't be serious! I, I... I'm not the killer! These goddamn shipper brains have got it all wrong, I'm telling you! You still won't admit it? Okay then. Makoto, go ahead and review the incident one more time to make his crime perfectly clear. Let's do it. And Here we that, go, picture time. We can end this. Listen to me! What the hell do you mean, end this? Say what you want, Leon. But all the questions have been answered, and the truth has been revealed. You now did it, bud. What happened. Alrighty. The closing argument is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? And should I go and grab my cheat sheet? <laughs> Um, if you want to, I can read this while you're doing that. All right, give me like two minutes. Alrighty, no worries. Alrighty. Every case has one last element uh, to bring the class trial to an end. This is the closing argument. In this phase, you will give a complete summary of the case. Boy, I'm glad the transcripts exist. You'll have to uh, reproduce the flow of events uh, for the case in the form of a comic book. 
However, you'll notice that in the comic, um, there are a number, there are a number of pieces missing. It's up to you to complete the comic using um, the provided uh, truth panels. Also, if you take aim at a missing section and press the left mouse button, holy cow, you'll get a hint that might lead, um, that might lead to a breakthrough. Well then, good luck and have fun. Okay. Let's do it. So this is probably one of the more unfriendly parts of this whole system, or to this whole game, Online really. Online friendly parts, for sure. Yeah. Um, but you know what? It's fine. Okay, so we are starting with... It's it's from right to left, because... Yeah. Um, Japanese. Yep. Okay. I, I think I got the cheat sheet out. Okay. So... We start with... Let's look at these. So this looks like the... I think it's this one. It is that one. Um, it's also a little hard for me to see which one you're on if you're highlighting it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's the one with, uh, I guess, Leon at the door. Yeah. That's the right one. Cause then, like when you have them at the bottom, I can't tell if you're highlighting it which one you're on. That's fair. Um, okay, so Saika lets him in, and they start fighting. Right. So then Saika attacks him. And then I believe it's the second one from the right over here. Um, no, that's the next no. one. Oh, is it? Oh, is it the one on the very right where he grabs the sword? Whoops. Yeah, you want the one on the very right. Okay. And then it's the one that was next to it. Got you. Right, because that's her attacking. And then he's blocking. Yeah. And, and then, then he hits her wrist. Uh, it's not those ones. That happens later. That also happens later. Not any of those. It's not the crystal ball yet. It's the one on the fur. It was... Uh... Second to the left. Second to the left. Oh yeah, okay. Beauty. Beauty, beauty. Okay. And then it goes... Okay, so then... What's happening here? The door. Here? The one you have on the right there. No, wait, that's the crystal ball. Uh... Yeah, no, um, so she's going yes. to... I'm just trying to, like, figure out what she's actually doing. She's running away to the bathroom when she realizes shit's not working out for her. Um... Okay. It's this one, yeah? The doorknob? Whoops. Yeah. Yeah, it's the doorknob. That's so floaty. The actual, like, comic is very floaty. Is it? Yeah, because, like, as soon as you get near the edge, it moves. Right. So it's like, I usually yeah. just, like, page left and right between them. I find it a little bit easier. Yeah, but you gotta select it with the... with the mouse and stuff. So it's like, either way, I have to move the mouse around. Gotcha. Um, right, okay. I use the switch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so she's hiding in the bathroom. He comes back. Which my cheat sheet is just switch pictures. <laughs> That's fair. Um, and it's the one on the left. Out of those. Oh, I can't even tell. Yep. 
Oh, we just go right to that, huh? Yeah, that's where she's writing the message. Shit, okay. Right, so she's mm, having a bad time. So then he comes out and cleans the room, basically. Yes. That is the lint roller. And then from there, he goes to the incinerator. Where he then... Where he then grabs this. Mm -hmm. And then basically chucks it. Um, you had it. It was the other one. It was? Yeah. This one? That one. The one where he's throwing... Right, okay, yeah, yeah, because yeah. He, he throws the shirt in there. Right. And this should be the last one. Mm. You want the one to the right. Because that's the little piece of the shirt there. Yeah. And that we have one that be everything. Yeah, we have one that didn't get used. Uh, you can just hit the go button now. You yeah, did them all. I don't know what button that'll be for you. You can Here's try to exactly push escape. Enter seems to have worked. I think I'd better take one more look back at the case from the beginning. Oh, did we get something wrong? No. It won't show us if we got anything wrong yet. That's right. Last okay. Night, the killer went to the All room right. Sayaka was in. in I do like words, this. My room. From what we can tell, Sayaka invited that person there intending to kill them. The clothing arguments are pretty good. She attacked them with the knife she'd taken from the kitchen earlier. This is like the TLDR, you know? <laughs> yep. Totally. Those are right. But then something happened that she wasn't prepared for. They grabbed the fake sword I put in my room and fought yeah. back. During the struggle, a strike from the sword broke Sayaka's right wrist. And that's when she lost her grip on the kitchen knife. Finding herself cornered, Sayaka panicked and ran into the bathroom. The killer went after her, but couldn't get the bathroom door open. What they didn't know was that my bathroom door got stuck easily, and there was a trick to opening it. Yep. Sayaka knew about that because I'd told her, but of course the killer had no way of knowing. So instead, the killer forced the door open, took the kitchen knife, and stabbed Sayaka. Yeah, talk about a plan backfiring, though, eh? But with what strength she had remaining, that's Sayaka left a That sucks message. for her a little bit. To keep yeah. the killer from noticing, she wrote it on I the I mean, the situation sucks her. for everybody, really. And with that, all her killed. strength was gone. Unfortunately. With Sayaka dead, the killer quickly began destroying the evidence. First, they took off their shirt, which was covered in their victim's blood. Then they took the lint roller in my room and cleaned up the entire area. They wanted to make sure they got rid of any trace they'd ever been there. Yep. Afterwards, the killer headed to the trash room to destroy their bloody shirt. They tried to burn the shirt using the incinerator there. But the trash room was blocked off by an especially sturdy gate. That's where the crystal ball comes the in. 
Yeah, we got this. So they came up with a plan to use Hero's crystal ball, which he left in the laundry room. Honestly, though, to make that throw to through the, the grate, through though, would have been really difficult. And hit the incinerator switch. For any normal person, that'd be an impossible throw. You gotta be insanely focused to get that to done shot. right. And that's because the killer was the ultimate baseball star. Or have a really high dexterity score. A little bit of both, really. The crystal ball, thrown with absolute precision, hit the switch on the incinerator, which then quickly roared to life. There it is. Having destroyed the final piece of evidence, they left the area with, I imagine, a sigh of relief. But there was one thing they missed. That one little piece. Part of the shirt they'd thrown into the fire burnt away and fell out of the incinerator. Even if they noticed the that, didn't notice even if he this. noticed that, he wouldn't have been able and to so fix left it. Behind a piece of indisputable evidence. Isn't that right, Leon? Looks if like that's your real right. name. It would appear that <laughs> yeah. Hero simply forgot his crystal ball in the laundry room. You went there to try and wash the blood out of your shirt. And that's where you saw it, right? Seeing the ball, you thought of a way to take care of everything. So, Leon, do you object to anything that's been said? Do I object? Hell yes, I object! Of course I do! I object, I object, I object! I mean, all of this is just a bunch of stupid theories! You need evidence! Where's the evidence? It was all there. Without evidence, it's all bullshit. It's bullshit and I refuse to acknowledge it. Well then, I guess this is as good a time as any to present the evidence that proves you did it. Here we Makoto, go. I believe you're in possession of that evidence. Next time on Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc, when the killer removed the screws from the doorknob, they didn't use anything from your room to do it. Instead, they must have used something that belonged to them. That is true. They used something of their own to remove the screws. Could it have been... I refuse to acknowledge you! You're stupid! Stupid, stupid, stupid! Stupid, 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 stupid! He's got nothing. He's literally got nothing. <laughs>